In today's technology training quick tip, we're going to talk about utilizing sections in PowerPoint 2013. Although we're demonstrating this in PowerPoint 2013, it is also applicable to PowerPoint 2010. The example I'm showing here is a PowerPoint about a benchmark study. We find that we do this frequently to assess what other universities are doing. If we look at this presentation, you can see that it's discussing four different Kentucky schools. As I scroll down, I'll, I'll see several on the University of Kentucky, um, something on Louisville. Um, we also have Eastern Kentucky University in here, as well as Western Kentucky. Now, what I've already done in this is kind of break this down in colors based on the different universities. And if I wanted to further organize this and make this just a little bit easier, I can utilize something called sections. Now I'm going to switch into what we call slide sorter view. That lets me see multiple slides at once. And um, what I'm going to do is just create my very first section, which is very simple. I'm going to click on the slide that I want to start uh, my new section. Uh, once I've clicked on it, you'll see it's highlighted here in red. And then I just get to pop up to the Home tab um, into my Slides area and find the Section drop-down. And I'm just going to simply say Add Section. And you'll see that creates a new untitled section. Now, because of the width of this particular screen, you can see that that put my four slides all on their own line, but these aren't officially sections yet, so I'm going to click on my Louisville slide and I can go to section, click add section. I can also do this directly from the slide that I want to start the section. I'm clicking here on the first slide for Eastern Kentucky University. I'm going to right click over that and you'll see that add section is an option here. Um, and so I will do that again here for Western. I'm going to click on a single slide there, right click and do add section. Here I have really five different sections. My beginning section, one for UK, one for U of L, Eastern and Western. And you'll notice as I did this it just completely called it an untitled section. I can easily correct this by uh, clicking on the section, uh, going up to my home tab, and uh, finding the rename option. I'm going to click on that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and call this my UK section. I'll scroll down and can very quickly do that for my other s sections here in the PowerPoint. I just have to simply click in the section. Notice as I'm doing that, it highlights every slide in the, that particular section. Um, this is going to be my EKU grouping, and then finally my WKU grouping. And so now these are all together. And uh, let's say I give this presentation, it turns out it flows better for Western Kentucky to go in front of Eastern Kentucky. What's neat, I can right click over that section and just move the section up and it moves it completely in front of the section before. I don't have to select my slides and then manually drag them. I can just do that using that cool little feature. Again, I just right clicked and have these move options here. Notice I I can also collapse all of my sections and so that kind of gives me less visual clutter. When I'm ready to just work on UofL I can expand that and kind of peek at everything that is in that section and not have to be distracted by the other sections. I'm just going to switch back into normal view so you can see real quickly what that looks like here. I can easily just collapse or expand one at a time using my little triangle spinner. Thanks for watching this University of Kentucky Technology Training Quick Tip. For more information, please visit our website.